Yo, what's up guys? I just finished up my workout. I just wanted to update you guys on how this uh, new physical and mental journey that I've been going on has been going so far. And I can tell you, I'm already immediately seeing results. Like I was on a plateau for a while. I just, I felt stuck. I felt like I wasn't progressing. And if I was progressing, it was so slow and really like it, it just, it was very discouraging seeing that I felt like I was trying. I felt like I was giving in all this effort, but I wasn't really making any progress, right? And so what I started doing was I, I set a bunch of new standards for myself. Basically, the idea was to raise my daily level of productivity, right? So I used to get X amount done. And it was like, all right, how can I get more done? Like, how can I get more out of myself? within the same 24 hours you know and without without like sacrificing sleep and stuff like that because here's the thing man like it'd be life would be so easy if i could just say all right man i'm just gonna sleep four hours a night you know what i mean then i get an extra three hours uh you know throughout my day to take care of the things that i want to do but because bodybuilding is a goal for me and it's almost it's a priority for me uh i gotta prioritize muscle growth you can't grow the muscle if you're not getting enough rest if you're not getting enough sleep so for me it's very important it's actually a priority that i get enough sleep and also not to mention you know all the mental benefits as well of just being well rested going to work well rested so i'm a little more productive i'm a little faster i'm a little more efficient right so yeah man so i've been already seeing uh results from the new way that i've been kind of going throughout my day i realized the biggest thing for me was i needed something to hold me accountable that i could see that i could track that i can look at exact numbers and see progress right so for example with my weight I hit 225 a couple months ago, you know, and I kept kind of going between 220 and 225. I was in that range for a very long time and I felt like I couldn't break that. Once I got to 225, I would just start feeling really like full and like, I just, I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know if it was a mental challenge or what it was, but I just couldn't seem to break past that and consistently uh, weigh in over 225. And as you guys know, I'm gonna be uh, competing in a men's physique show in a couple months. So I've been putting on as much weight as I can uh, so I can put on some muscle before my cut begins, right? And so once I start, the, the difference, the change I made with that in, in terms of my diet was I started tracking my macros. I started counting my calories, right? I set a goal first at 3,900 calories. I thought that would be enough. And uh, while I did see my weight starting to climb, it wasn't rising at the amount that I needed it to. So I really, I bumped it up to 4,100. And even then I've been doing a little over that on a consistent basis. I just hit 228 pounds this morning, which is the heaviest I've ever been in my life, right? And this was, fr this was a massive breakthrough for me because it's like, I've been stuck at that weight so long and all it took was for me to start counting my macros and hold myself accountable to the amount of calories I should be eating in a day, right? So that's why I started doing that and it's been paying off already. My workouts have been intense. I've been working out six days a week and I'm now instead of taking a rest day off, I'm doing an active recovery day, which I talked about in my last video, which was really about, you know, coming in, hitting the sauna, doing some stretching, you know, uh, hitting the pool, the hot tub, like something, you know, doing some uh, low intensity steady state cardio just to get my heart rate up, right? help me with recovery uh and so that's been helping me I, I stopped listening to music in the gym actually what i started doing now was i started putting on instrumentals just so that i can block out the noise because my gym has really loud music and i know most of the music so I, it gets it, it tends to have uh to distract me so i started doing that as a way to just focus in on my workout i'm feeling my workouts a lot more they're more intense i'm actually focused like on every single rep on every set i'm thinking about what i'm doing i'm present right i mean i'm present in the moment that's one of those side effects that i've really been seeing from what i'm doing now like i jam pack so much into my day that i have no choice but to be focused you know what i mean like i've been working uh i have a couple big problems projects that I have. I'm a handyman, right? So I do a lot of like remodeling and painting and plumbing and all kinds of jobs. And right now I'm so backed up. I have so much work that I've been working every single day. I haven't been taking any days off. And because of that, it's like, uh, I have to be efficient with my time when I'm at work, right? Because now before I used to get off work at 7 PM, sometimes 8 PM sometimes. And I realized that was really uh, taking time away from doing YouTube is taking time away from going to the gym. Um, and so I decided like, you know what, I need to sacrifice some work in order to be able to 
pursue what I'm trying to do here with YouTube and with the gym. So now I have a, a more strict schedule. I'm going to work from nine to five, right? And I'm trying, I'm doing my best to get off by five o'clock. That means what I used to do in 10 hours, I'm trying to do now in eight. I've been, I've been really trying to become as efficient as possible. And the only way to do that is to be focused while I'm at work. So less, you know, listening to music and all that. And like now I'm just more like, okay, uh, like let me just focus. Let me, let me, let me, let me figure out what I have to do and do it as fast as I can obviously while keeping the quality of my work at the standards that I have them which are high and that's been paying off I've been making a lot of progress there and then just little things throughout my day man like I started taking cold showers right today is day eight of uh, taking cold showers now at first it felt like it got a little easier after like the third day and then that was about it I'm still it's hard man it's hard it's not easy getting in that cold water but I'm doing it for the mental benefits of like doing something hard, callousing my mind, doing something that I don't want to do, becoming comfortable with being uncomfortable, like, and not just slightly uncomfortable, like extremely uncomfortable, right? You have, sometimes you have to be able to do those things that make you very uncomfortable, that you don't want to do, that you dread. You got to get comfortable and used to pushing your mind through those things and just doing them, right? It's something between, it's something about like separating your mind from your, from f how you feel, separating your feelings from the things that you need to do, from the results that you want to achieve, right? So it's like, before I hop in that shower, I know it's cold. I know I'm about to suffer. I know it's going to shock me this moment I touch that water. But it's like, don't even think about it. Don't even think, because you're going to get in anyway. It's like, I already, I, I told myself, like, this is what I do now. This is what we do. Like, we take cold showers, right? So if I'm going to do it regardless and I'm not going to give myself a way out, it's like, all right, I just got to do it then. I just got to get in. Right. I, I, I'm going to get in anyways. I might as well not sit around and mope and complain and, and stare at the water. Just get in, bro. Like You're going to get in anyways. Right. And then attacking everything else in your life with that mindset of just like, just do it anyways, bro. Fuck your feelings. Fuck how you feel about it. You know, don't debate and try to ra rationalize and, and logis, lo make it like logical or whatever. Just, bro, just you know what you have to do. Just do it. Right. And that's kind of my new mindset that I'm moving forward with. And I've always had that. I've always had that to an extent. But right now, what I'm focused on is raising my baseline. Right. And so this is what, what I think. This is my personal belief. Right? I know some people might not agree with this, but I hear a lot of people say like, oh, you just got to get better one percent every day. And in a year, you'll be three hundred sixty five percent better. Right. Yeah, that sounds good on paper, but it doesn't really work like that. You can't get better 1%. Like, how do you measure that? How do you know you got better 1% today, right? You did an extra rep. It's like, all right, but then tomorrow you won't do the extra rep, and then you're just back at zero. That doesn't make sense, right? I believe, like, it's, it's better to shoot high and fall short than to just shoot short from the beginning. Like, what's the point, right? And so what I did was like, all right, you know what? I'm just going to jump in the deep end. I'm going to set all these challenges and goals and daily uh, kind of missions in front of me. I'm going to do my best to attack these things at my very best capability. If I fall short, but I at least tried my best, then I know I at least improved a lot more than I would if I would have just shot for a lower goal from the very beginning, right? And so, yeah, so I started uh, setting all these goals for myself so far i've been doing good i've been accomplishing them i said i would start uploading three times a week i've i've been doing that it hasn't been easy last night i was up to like 2 a.m i woke up at 6 a.m yesterday i went to bed at 2 a.m i was back up at 6 a.m today right because i committed to uploading these videos and and because of uh right now my life is a little uh uh hectic because my parents are out of town so i've been staying with my with my like sisters like babysitting type of thing and so you know, it's just like it's not optimal for me on, on what my schedule is usually like, but I'm doing my best and I'm still get I'm still getting to it, man. I'm still doing what I got to do. I'm not making any excuses like I, like I've done before because I'm getting serious about this shit, you know? And so that's the idea. I, oh, the idea is to raise what I was saying was to raise the baseline, right? So if if I'm at 0 here, right? This is my baseline. This is where I, where my natural productivity is at, right? So for me, that was going to the gym every day, right? Getting my workout in, which I was, which was always intense. It was always serious, but sometimes I wasn't all the way there mentally. I was just kind of in the routine, you know, and uh, I, w I wasn't super focused, right? You know, and, and obviously I was eating a lot every day, clearly not as much as I thought I was, but I thought I was eating more than enough, but I wasn't like tracking my macros. So that sort of thing, right? That was my baseline. 
what I did was like, all right, I'm gonna, and then with the YouTube thing, like I was, I was supposed to be doing one video a week, but then sometimes I would go weeks without posting, right? So it's like, I had these, I had these short, these, these th th that was my baseline. So I decided, all right, I'm just gonna throw all this shit on my plate, right? I'm gonna do my best to accomplish them. If I fall short, like let's say I got 20% better, right? After raising my baseline, the idea is, all right, this is my baseline. I'm going to improve 20%. I'm going to be 20% more productive. I need to make that my baseline now. Like that should be natural to me. Like let me keep focused. Let me let me keep doing this every single day until it just becomes natural to me. Like this is what I do. I count my macros. That's a lifestyle now, right? That's a habit. I just do it. I take cold showers. That's a habit. I just do it. At the gym, I'm focused in. I'm zoned in. I'm in the moment. I just do it. That's a habit, right? And so um, the, the idea is like once that I, I achieve that as my natural baseline where I'm not really, really struggling that much, I don't really have to think about it as much, it's more habitual, then I can say, okay, now let me raise it another 20%. What more can I add on? Right. And I, I feel like that's how you become prolific. That's how you become extremely productive in the things you're doing. And that's how you break through those plateaus that have been holding you back and which has been my biggest problem probably for years now, man. Like I, I never, I, I, I don't like, like I always set these goals, but I don't stick to them. And I think I set goals that are too small. So I, I almost underestimate those goals because I know there's small goals, you know, and then I end up just not making progress, bro. But that changes, man. Like I'm, I'm, I'm on some new shit now. This is, this is the new me. You know what I mean? Like this is my new baseline. This is where I'm at. So the idea is just keep trying to grow, you know, keep trying to become more productive, become more efficient with my time, you know, keep, you know, like right now, like my, my weight has been going up, which is good. I, I've been making more money from the way that I've been working, which is good. My workouts have been better. I'm feeling stronger. I'm gaining muscle, which is good. And then having all these goals just has me on a different level of focus because I don't have time to not focus, man. Like, because I have so much to do, I don't have time to just sit around and just bullshit, bro. Like, I just, I don't have the time anymore, right? And that's what I would recommend to you guys. If you realize you have too much free time, a lot of the times that free time ends up dragging you down because you have too much free time. So you, you think you have more time than you actually do and you end up putting these things off. You end up procrastinating fascinating and then you end up not doing any of the goals that you set for yourself even if it's something like just going to the gym right like how I'm sure like you guys have experienced that before where you're like all right I'm gonna go to the gym today and then you get home and then you kind of like oh I still got time I still got time and then you kind of just sit around and then you you turn on the tv or you you know you you chill you turn on the video game or whatever and then an hour two hours three hours pass by and then all of a sudden you're like damn it's kind of late I don't know if I should go anymore and now you're sitting another hour contemplating on whether you should go and then you end up not going you know what I mean so it's like you have too much free time that free time is killing you one you're not being productive you know what I'm not even gonna get into that I'm gonna save that for another day um, I just really wanted to give you guys that update and really what I want you to take out this video is raise your baseline and don't fucking shoot low shoot high shoot for the stars you know what I'm saying like if you shoot for the moon even if you miss you'll end up amongst the stars that's my challenge for you guys today Try to raise your baseline. Do what you can. Figure out what part of your life are you performing suboptimally. What can you do to become more efficient? A lot of the times, it's actually just find a way to track it, right? Like for me, it was like my weight, right? I started tracking my macros and I started tracking my weight every single morning and I write it down. If I went up in weight, I write it in green. If I went down in weight, I write it in red. Red means bad, right? So it's like, I wanna see green on there. So then on a daily basis, I'm holding myself accountable because I know if I slack off today, tomorrow I'm gonna see red on that whiteboard and I don't wanna see that red on there, right? So it, it almost kind of switches my mind to think differently because I'm holding myself accountable and I'm tracking. Find a way to track the things that you do on your daily basis the goals that you have for yourself set high goals and get after it man that's all i got for you guys bro i'm excited about this new series the heart and mind series which i'm just going to be doing these type of videos with you guys every week just talking about these experiences that i'm going through the things that i'm learning and the stuff that i'm doing see the growth and hopefully pull something from it and do it and apply it in your own life all right so thank you guys for watching appreciate y'all love y'all uh make sure you go watch the last video I uploaded on this the paradigm shift video which will kind of explain a little more about why I made these changes the mentality that I, that I had that 
needed to change, right? So if that sounds like something you want to watch, click the uh, click the video at the end of this video. It'll take you there. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Catch y'all in the next one. More heart, more hustle. Oh, 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 oh,